half seven and it's already nearly pitch black. And with the light on, I can't see where I'm going. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. You're watching An Idiot Outdoors, featuring the outside in. And we've got Ryan with us today. We are doing a woodland camp. Motorhome. Glamping pod. Log cabin. We're not about that here. We do it proper. What I want to do, or we can hear an owl listen. Always stops when you want to show somebody. Alright. Can't see where I'm going, mate, with this light. In, in my face. I'll spin the camera around in a moment. But yeah, something a little bit different today. Last time we come in this wood, I says we were going to basically do a woodland kind of stealth camp where we will be, you can hear the owl now, not very far away from the main track but we're going to be well hidden so I can hear thunder now. We have had some lightning, I've had to hunker down in the car for a bit, the storm was really bad, the rain, I can't see a thing. We need to turn off here mate, uh, down here, I'm going to spin the camera around. Yeah, ideally we want to camp just not too far off the beaten track. Apologies about the uh, low light levels. I ain't got my head torch out. So we did plan to get here a lot earlier, but as I said, the uh, Evans opened and it absolutely hammered it down. And then I forgot my something for me food. I'll talk about that a bit later. Now I'm going to that that way. Sorry. Yeah, I was hoping to find somewhere in decent light levels. Absolutely no time to mess around today with the threat of uh, the weather, storm warnings. So, as usual, the footprints going down. Obviously, don't need to tell you that's where I'm going to pitch my tent. Ryan's getting in over there. Tell you what, mate, that kip has done me the absolute world of good. Huh? That kip has done me the world of good. Yeah. Yep. Sweet, I'm going to be dangerous tonight. We're quite high off the ground. How often do you sit there at a camp and you have a frog land on your leg? Hey, little fella. As Ryan rightly says, good job we're not in France. Mind you, there's no meat on them little legs. No. Probably blinding the poor little critter. 
I don't do things by half. Is it you or me? Oh, I think mine's off now. No, it's definitely me. Am I blinding you? No. So, yep. We've actually been chilled out for quite a while. I'd say about a good hour, wouldn't you? Yeah. Definitely a, definitely a good hour. What we didn't realise is you can just see... Oh, hello. You're going to put your search and rescue light on. Yeah, a couple of tents over there. So initially we thought we'd come from the fork... said fork and from memory I thought we'll go off the beaten track because I've come through here so many times but being dark I'm not sure if this is where I, I was on about before you know so it's just down to chance now winging it yet again we'll come over here so we didn't want to be bothered in the morning Now I can't even find the tents now. We came for ah, there you go, there you go. So we've got Ryan's uh, hyena too. And then over here, we've got my hyena too. You know what's coming, Ryan, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Oh, yes. The chair. What was that, Ryan? The chair. And I would just like to point out from the last video, if you actually look at this tent this time, has it passed the test? Um, from the la you mean from being slung against the tree? That would be the one. Yeah. Um, well... I'm a little bit more impressed this time than last time. This was once a widow maker, look at that. I mean, if we'd uh, set up properly, that could have been our, uh, we could have put a couple of chairs there and that could have been our breakfast bar, but you know, <laughs> add a couple of tinnies as you do. Ryan supplied the snacks. I provided the main meal, joint effort and all that. Ryan's on the tea. Real men drink tea. Is it Yorkshire by any chance? No, it's uh, Aldi's own. Again? Yeah. Well, if you fancy a Yorkshire bag, I'm packing a few Yorkshire bags in my... Uh... I have got a massive box of Yorkshire, but that was open. Okay, so... so... Anyway, that's where I am. The cooler bag. Um, we did invite Chris, but Chris is currently... I don't know whether he's watching the boxing tonight or he's actually travelling to London to Wembley to watch it. it. One of the two, but that'll be Chris. So if you're watching, Chris, big thumbs up from us. We absolutely dodged a nasty storm earlier. I still think there's more to come though, you know. Well, from what I was first told, it was supposed to be Friday we got it. Well, it was a day late, weren't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my son was having his hair cut when the storm started. But anyway, I'm going to go and chill now in the chair. Have another tinny. And I'm going to look at cooking some food. And I can tell you tonight, the food of choice we've decided on. Sorry, no selfie stick. I'm just going to do it manually like this. We are having tacos. I've got um, an onion to slice up. I've got... Accidentally uh, touched the camera then with my finger. Yeah, so I've got some onion, uh, an onion to slice up, some cherry tomatoes to slice up, salsa. It comes with the uh, spices. 
so obviously throw that in a pan voila and we got some taco shells which is the very reason i had to go back home because the missus rung me up and says you've forgotten your taco shells in which time ryan had turned up but then i couldn't message him back because i was driving and i don't like using my phone well not a case of i don't like using my phone while i'm driving i do not use my phone while i'm driving My headlights are always on auto. I can't control the brightness of those headlights. So I'm going to whack up an onion. And when I say I'll whack up an onion, that means I'm going to slice it, put it in the pan. We're going to throw the old um, taco blend in there. The old beef mince. Get that sizzling. I've got some taco shells somewhere. Inside there, are they? Yeah. They're in okay. The um, and then we've got some cheese to go with it. We've got some cherry tomatoes, which I'm going to chop up, mix with the salsa, and we shall have ourselves some tacos. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Straight. And Ryan's decided he's going to stick it on the burner. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's out and ready, so may as well. Okay. I've got the uh, bug mesh closed, but the tent open. Aeration, because it's raining, obviously.
it's absolutely lashed it down all night. For the bits that I've been awake, I've enjoyed it. Not cold, didn't need to get into the sleeping bag. It'd be way too warm to be in that bag tonight. Look at the temperature. Sixteen degrees in here. No, oh, spotted the bug. So last week I uh, damaged my down jacket. I ripped it, didn't I? So yeah, there you go. I repaired it. I mean, I could have bought another down jacket, but for the sake of a tiny little repair, this down jacket has been worth its weight in gold it is so warm it's unbelievable and yeah I wasn't ready to throw it on the scrap heap so for that little tiny repair there as you can see I mean there's a hole would you even notice that however uh, there's another little tiny rip somewhere which I repaired there you go it's there it's hard to there you go but yeah I really hate throwing camping gear away especially stuff that keeps you warm as you know I've repaired the tent a few uh, tent sleeping bag sleeping bag I've repaired the sleeping bag a few times Yeah, it's starting to get light now. Weather's a little tiny bit better. Well, I've literally spent most of the day in the tent, listening to the rain, catching up on sleep, and I feel no shame. Ryan went earlier, a lot earlier, because he had to take his lad to the train station. But yeah, it's just been nice. I ain't done a lot of filming on this one. Just been chilling out. Sometimes that's all it's about. But I have got to get up now. Well, I say get up, I've got to get my stuff packed away. Um, dinner will be done soon. Just had a message off Mrs. So I better get me uh, backside into gear and start packing away. That meant now. So it's rained non-stop and it's been really raining. And the tent other than a little bit of condensation because there's been very little breeze it's absolutely bone dry finally a bit of a break in the rain I'll take the opportunity as you can see because it was dark when we pitched up yeah he's on a bit of a wonk which I didn't realize as I say 
that's where Ryan was. Ryan went home a lot earlier. It's getting evening time now. I'm not ashamed. I really did need a good sleep. Originally, I was going to get a tent in there and a tent in there that felt a little bit more exposed there. As you can see, this is the uh, main track. You're walking along here. There you can still see my tent just about. Not the end of the world, is it? And you've got a path that comes down here. And then it splits into a fork here and goes up that way oh well, yeah I'm massively exposed but I can't see many people have been walking in the woods in this weather Again, we was running out of light, it was a last minute thing, so some more packs away, as usual, bag of rubbish. And I was in such a rush to get packed up because of the time. It's nearly six o'clock in the evening, can you believe it? I ain't even bothered making a brew. I'm drinking the milk that I brought to make the brew. I need to get out of there. My dinner is nearly done. And my missus is coming to pick me up today. Still ice cold courtesy of that cooler bag. That cooler bag is awesome. I've been lucky and managed to have a break in the rain so that's why I've really got this packed up really quick and I do want to get out of here now oh I feel absolutely burnt out I really do feel burnt out and I know this isn't going to make for good footage but a video is a video and I like to be consistent you know there can't always be you know I don't know what they can always be. But look how beautiful it is here. So all packed away now bag of rubbish as always leave the place as you found it the best you can do leave no trace of course so yep that's where we were camped So I'm heading out of here now, what I do want to say, actually I'll go this way, is I said last night I wanted to be camped quite close to the path but sort of out of sight 
but with the rain and the the light lack of light we didn't bother putting the camo nets up or nothing we didn't even put the tarp up but yeah so I'm on the main path now once again just over there we was nice little spot but you could have done with somewhere a little bit better but in the dark you can't really make out a good spot can you in just torchlight anyway I better uh, get a move on it's not rain it's just water dripping from the trees above above <clears throat> should I say Now I realise now where we uh, sort of went off the trail a bit, not off the trail, but I should have carried on that way for some reason. Being dark, we end up that way. But the places I had in mind were a lot better this way. But it doesn't matter. I was still enjoying myself. Anyway time to wrap it up so once again I'm sorry this wasn't the uh, the best video I've done I do still feel really fatigued a bit burnt out but hopefully next week will be a better video please like and subscribe to everybody that's recently subscribed welcome along thank you for doing so and I shall oh not forgetting keep it real we certainly have in that weather, but I love it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love the rain. Rainy camps, they are my favorite. Anyway, once again, keep it real. I'll see you on the next one next week, as usual. Bye-bye.